SES, Société Européenne des Satellites, is the operating company of Astra. Astra, a satellite system designed for analog as well as digital distribution of television and radio programs throughout Europe. Created in March 1985 and based in Luxembourg, SES is Europe's first private satellite operator. The company operates under a franchise agreement with the Grand Duchy. SES's headquarters are located at the Chateau de Betzdorf, a former residence of the Grand Duke of Luxembourg. The company employs over 180 staff from some 15 different nations. Next to the administrative building are located the Astra ground control facilities with the large parabolic antennas which are used to control and steer the satellites in space as well as to transmit video, audio and data signals to the satellites. A separate antenna is used for each of the Astra satellites. The Betzdorf site also comprises various communications antennas for the reception and transmission of TV and radio signals. Société Européenne des Satellites has several subsidiaries in Europe. In Germany, in Frankfurt. In the UK, in London. In France, in Paris. in Spain, in Madrid. The eight satellites in the Astra system, of which six are already in operation, feature reliable technology as well as advanced satellite design. Every satellite is constructed individually and it takes highly qualified specialists about three years to build an Astra satellite weighing approximately three tons. The satellite is very sensitive and needs to be assembled in a completely dust-free environment. Each part undergoes rigorous testing to ensure that it functions perfectly on its own and as a part of the system. Precision testing at ground level ensures that the satellite will perform perfectly in space. The first Astra satellites were launched into space from the European Space Centre in Kourou in French Guiana. The launch site of Kourou offers sophisticated facilities to prepare and test the satellites prior to launch. The spacecraft are also fueled on site. It's this fuel which allows the spacecraft to be propelled into geostationary orbit as well as the subsequent station keeping maneuvers. The satellite is then placed in the top capsule of the launch vehicle. On December the 11th, 1988, Ariane Space Flight 27 successfully injected SES's first satellite, Astra 1A, into geostationary transfer orbit. A whole new era in satellite television had begun. Four other satellites, Astra 1B, 1C, 1D and 1E have been launched since then in 1991, 93, 94 and 95. Astra 1F was launched in 1996 by a Russian Proton launch vehicle from the Cosmodrome of Baikonur.
The launch of a spacecraft on board a launcher like Ariane can be summarized as follows. 20 minutes after takeoff, the Astra satellite is injected into geostationary transfer orbit near the equator. The closest point from the satellite to the Earth is about 200 kilometers, and the furthest, 36,000 kilometers. Helped by the firing of onboard thrusters, Astra is then propelled from transfer orbit into geostationary orbit. Thereafter, the satellite unfolds its 10-meter-long solar panels, which will supply the energy for the electronic systems. In low Earth orbit, at a height of 300 kilometers, a satellite will revolve every one and a half hours and spin faster than the Earth. The Moon, which is in a high Earth orbit, revolves only once every 28 days. So positioned between these two in geostationary orbit at a height of 36,000 kilometers, Astra spins at the same speed as the Earth and is therefore always seen in the same position above the equator. The optimal geostationary position for Astra is within a 140 kilometer cube. In this position, the Astra satellites are slowly but constantly moved by the elements. However, onboard thrusters controlled from the ground can be fired to correct Astra's position at any time and keep it positioned at 19.2 degrees east. The rocket fuel on board is sufficient to last the approximate 12 years or more of a satellite's life. The Astra system currently consists of six co-located satellites. Two additional satellites are scheduled to be launched in 1997. With every new Astra satellite, a whole range of additional television and radio programs will be added to the system. The Astra footprint covers the greater part of Europe, from Scandinavia down to Italy, and from Spain, including the Canary Islands, across to Eastern Europe. With the digital satellites, the Astra footprint has been even further optimized, notably in Southern, Northern and Eastern Europe. Television and radio operators broadcasting via Astra transmit their programs to uplink stations at the locations shown here. The signals are then sent from these uplink stations directly to the Astra satellites. The uplink is carried out via antennas like the ones shown here in Dstorf. The fixed antennas on the ground see the satellites as a single fixed point in the sky. So when the picture arrives on your screen, it has already traveled 72,000 kilometers at the speed of light. On June the 7th, 1988, Sky Television announced its decision to take four transponders and became Astra's first client. Today, the Astra satellite system offers you a wide choice of analog as well as digital television, by country, by language, and by special interest, be it general entertainment or thematic channels, subscription services, or programs transmitted in the clear. Additional audio subcarriers enable each television channel to carry different language soundtracks simultaneously and to carry analog as well as digital radio channels. Astra offers alternative television, radio and other new services for everyone. This is the control center at Betzdorf, where communication with the Astra satellites is maintained around the clock. The control center ensures the perfect functioning of the Astra satellite system. The huge parabolic antennas are positioned to face directly towards Astra. They control and steer the satellites in space and also uplink programs. On request, Betzdorf can also provide transfer orbit services or in-orbit testing support to other satellite operators. The Astra satellites are monitored and steered from one of these control units, equipped with at least two or three backup units.
All operations are coordinated by a multinational team of professionals. In addition to the monitoring of the satellites in orbit, the technical quality of the video and audio transmissions needs constant surveillance. The individual channel transmitters on the satellites are called transponders and are monitored from this control room. If a transponder suffered technical problems, the signal would immediately be switched over to a backup amplifier so there would be no loss in transmission. Professional control of the transmission quality is provided 24 hours a day. The Network Operations Center uplinks a significant part of all the television and radio channels to the Astra satellites. A dedicated Network Operations Center for digital transmissions was added in 1995. It houses the central monitoring system for all digital broadcasts on Astra. In addition to its satellite control facilities, SES operates a completely autonomous backup station providing operational security to the system. Astra reception is as easy as ABC. For direct-to-home reception, all you need is a small fixed-dish antenna correctly aligned on the orbital position of the satellites, an analog or digital satellite receiver, as well as your existing television set. If you live in a group of houses or a block of flats, you can invest together in a shared Astra reception system so that everyone can receive the Astra program choice. There are also built-up areas where viewers may be able to get connected to a local cable network which carries the Astra programming underground. Astra offers a real alternative for some 75% of European households located in non-cabled areas who have no access to a wide program choice. The simplest way to get more television choice is to take the initiative yourself. Astra is close to you. Through its active marketing, Astra provides consumers with detailed information about the program offer and optimal ways of reception. The company also participates in fairs and exhibitions, organizes seminars for retailers and installers, works in parallel with program providers, works closely with the industry on the technical specifications of Astra reception equipment, and collaborates with the retail and installation trade throughout Europe. The Astra system has been designed for the future requirements of TV viewers all across Europe. The satellites currently in operation and those already under construction will ensure the continuation of this system well into the next century. Whatever technology comes along, Astra is ready and waiting. By co-locating additional satellites at the same orbital position of 19.2 degrees east and by using digital compression technologies, Astra is able to offer an unrivaled number of television and radio programs all available on a single fixed antenna. Astra offers freedom of choice. Europe's satellite system.